Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm doing a chatty welcome back first impressions with the Bombshell Cosmetica Sour Blast shadow. I've just I've already done my full face and that will all be down below. I'm gonna prime my eyes with my NARS tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base in light. Alright, so we are all primed and yeah. So I've been waiting a long time for these shadows. I think once all my sh <laughs> got a few palettes coming through and it's once they're all here, I'll go through how much shipping was and how long it took them to get here. So this took a long time. We haven't got a mirror and these are the shadows. So I posted on my Instagram stories when I got these and then I've also got the Ikea palette from Cleone, 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 and Bombshell Cosmetica one for people wanting me to play with this one first, and then the Sour Blast one first too. So I'm going to play with this one today. Do I know what I'm going to do though? No, no idea. I feel like it's been a long time since I've been, been here. Sorry, I'm feeling all kinds of walks. I feel like it's been so long since I've sat down and filmed. Um, let me just stare at these shadows for a bit. Alright, let's just start it out and we're going to swatch them. Alright, I think we can do it. So you can see cavities already stained here, so I'm just going to be annoying and put that back. So we've got Frosty. Bananas. Gummy. Melon, bonbon, lime, lollipop, sweet, cavity, sweetheart, now that one's already sealing, okay, uh, sugar rush, Rainbow. Wow. Alright, I feel totally lost. I'm <laughs> just, I don't know. It's been so long since I sat down in this room. It's an absolute pigsty behind me. I need to clean stuff. I need to do stuff today. So, let's just go in and see where it leads. I'm not going to think too hard about this. So I'm going to start out with one of my Jessup brushes and it's just like sticky, pointy. I'm going to put Bomb Bomb, which is our light blue here, on. And I just, wow. Alright, well, this is just a very light wash of colour. This is a bit shit. So I actually bought these shadows because this is a brand that M.M. Mitchell on Instagram sp spruiks a lot. And it was a pre-order with the Black Friday sales. So they were like half price shadows. And you got... I mean, it was shipping, so it was like the same as normal price for me. So I was like, fuck it, let's try them. Am um, I already regretting that? Yes. So I'm going to sit down and try and work out. I really enjoyed Annette's and Gimme Lips YouTube Goals video. I'm going to sit down and do my own YouTube goals. I'm not sure if I'll share them. But, you know, I think it's good to sit down and do a set of goals. I'm not sure what I want to do with anything, really. I'm going to go in with Sweetheart. This is our blue down here. Same brush. And just hoping to build. Wow. So intensely. Um, so, I'm just... I'm not really sure what I want to do. 
with YouTube and everything this year. It's been really fun last year. And it's been lovely all the people I've met and stuff like that. But I've really got to sit down and do a scheduled plan of posts. I wonder if this brush just isn't working. I don't have any of my good brushes here. I still haven't unpacked all my travel makeup, so I'm also making myself challenge myself. The Petite Eye Blender from Jessup. Going into Sweetheart again. Um, I realize how difficult it is to... Oh, like, be filming so regularly. So before I left for my trip, I pretty much sat down and over like four days, four or five days, uh, got all my filming and editing done for while I was away. And it was quite fun, just being able to sit back and not stress about when my content was going up or like when I was going to have it edited, would I be ready, and all that sort of stuff. I do wish I'd had some more time to like not be so stressed out because by the time I filmed some of them I was just like why, why did I do this to myself? But I do have a lot of fun with YouTube and I do have a lot of fun sharing my makeup love and all that sort of fun stuff. But I think I also wouldn't mind like expanding my content a little bit and doing some more like non not all beauty stuff. But I'm, I'm not sure. I do feel like once you start doing this beauty stuff you kind of pigeonhole yourself. So. I don't know if I should just do a different channel, but then am I putting too much work on myself? Like, I do work. So, it's just hard. I think I'm just gonna do, like, real simple today. That blue really kind of pissed me off, to be honest. I mean, Sweetheart is a lot better. And yeah, and so I don't really wanna go, oh. there's so many trends I feel going on YouTube at the moment, so everyone I'm watching, well, except for a few, seem to be going on low buys. Which I mean, good for you if that's what you want to do. For me personally, I don't think that that it really works that well for me. So I'm going to go in with lime, this one here. And that's just because I know how I am with like everything. And, oh yeah, this is beautiful. When I restrict myself on something, I tend to just, you know, get worse or like, if I leave myself unchecked, I will just randomly go and buy a whole heap of fuck like, of makeup. Like, so if I tell myself, Prue, you're not allowed to buy makeup, uh, as soon as my resolve is weakened, I will buy a lot of makeup very quickly. So, I don't like to put that level of pressure on myself like I'm gonna be on a no buy so I definitely played with the idea of a bit more smart consumerism last year and I definitely did actually end up buying less products in December the problem was this stuff all took a really long time to ship here so this is actually a Black Friday order anyway, I'll talk about it later but it works out well because it means I got it just as I got back here and it means I can put this lovely video up for you with this bit of shit on. Oh. I mean I like what it, uh, I'm okay with what I've done so far. And I'm loving the shimmer. But I definitely need to play with it a bit more and yeah I've got, I don't know. It's a bit hard, that's all. So for me, going on a no buy doesn't work because I will, I will break it, I know I will. But we are also, me and my partner, are going to Europe in the end of March. So I need to get my shit together and start saving for that. But I don't want to be like, oh, I want to know, but it's like, no, I'm, I'm saving money for my, I'm saving money for my big trip. 
And to be honest, I, I just, I don't need that much more. I don't need any more makeup at the moment. I've got plenty to play with, plenty to share with you. And lots of fun can be had. That green is stunning. Oh, sorry. I've got to get used to this lighting again. There we are. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I feel so out of practice. So um, just at the end of my holidays, I ended up having a huge outbreak of acne on my face. So I stopped wearing makeup then. And then, yeah, and then we came back. New Year's happened. It's the second today. Um, I just, you know, yeah. I feel really out of practice, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry this is... But I wanted to sit down and sort of like vibe back into it. And say hello and thank you so much to everyone who watched in December. And I hope you guys all had an amazing new year, happy Merry Christmas and all the rest. I'll sit down and show you all what I got for Christmas later on. Right, I'm gonna go in with Freak from Urban Decay on my waterline. Um, I didn't get any makeup, but I don't know. It seems fun to film. Oh, Nas Climax. Oh, I've missed you, mascara. Um, and then I just really didn't even take that many pictures while we were away or anything like that. I just really enjoyed spending time with my family. I have a get ready with myself, get ready with me, with my sister, which I'm super excited to put up for you guys. And I can't wait to sit down and edit it. Um, my brother makes a little like appearance. I hope he didn't get filmed, but he, um, he had a reaction. <laughs> So I'll see if that picks up in the volume, because it was pretty funny, and we just had a lot of fun. And I just spent time, so I'm originally from Adelaide, which is in South Australia, and I currently live in Brisbane, Queensland, so it, it was nice to, we were back for about two weeks, so it was just nice to be able to go and enjoy and not be rushed to do everything. I got to see some of my beautiful friends down there. And yeah, I just, I miss Adelaide a lot, really. Voila! Okay. So far, the shimmer is amazing on that shadow. Shall I just bring you in? See that green shimmer? Mmm, lovely. But the blue, pale blue was a bit shit. Sweetheart was a slight improvement. But, yeah. I need to play with this palette a lot more to get a well-rounded opinion. Um, yeah, let me know. I'm feeling so um, like so not creative at all. When I look at this, I just I feel I feel overwhelmed. Um, so let me know. If there's any color combinations you'd like to see me create with this palette, I would absolutely love your opinions or thoughts or um, yeah, just like tell me what to do. I've got to go out to the shops and everything. I'll see if it's anything exciting. No, I doubt it. Um, I probably won't be back for a wear test. I don't think there's enough of this shadow on my eye to actually be an interesting wear test. If it is interesting, I'll come back and let you know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I'd absolutely love it if you considered subscribing. Um, if you're returning, you just, you warm my heart. Thank you so much for watching me. Anyway, I appreciate it. I adore you. Mwah.